Well, it's Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts, and today I have a very quick project, and I'll, I'll show it to you. Uh, you're going to need a 12 by 12 piece of paper, and then you're going to need some scraps to put into the pockets, and you're going to need some paper clips, hopefully they're prettier than the ones I can find right now. I do have some pretty ones. I'll get them in just a moment. So what we're making is these little pockets that will go. I'm going to get a piece of coffee dyed paper so we can see where they go. This coffee dyed paper is from uh, Triple V Vintage. I love to buy paper from her and from Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop. So, here's our page. And these clip opposite each other on a page. Like this. There is a little pocket right here. There is a little pocket right here. And there's a little pocket back here. Now this is why they're clipped on with a fancier paper clip than this, my friends. We could do a hidden paper clip on it. That would be one way to solve that. Um, the other thing is that we could put a hinge on this if we remember to put it in the fold here before this pocket gets glued. Okay, so we have our pocket here, our pocket here, and we have a pocket here. Oh, no we don't. Okay, and we have a pocket here. So three little pockets. This is a kind of like a one sheet wonder, only it makes two pockets and then half of the ephemera. So you would need some extra pieces to make the ephemera. The ephemera is saying it's the, the journal cards, is what I'm saying, and the tags. So that's what that is about. Okay, but um, definitely a fancier paper clip than that. So let me show you how I did this. You will need a piece of paper that is double-sided and can go up or down or sideways, whatever way you want to go. I'm going to start this way. Oh, no. First, I'm going to cut this off at eight inches. So I have one piece that I can utilize better than I did before. Because I was just playing with it before. Now this is serious business. <laughs> so now that we're down to serious stuff, and I have to give you some better measurements, I probably should. Okay, let's cut this off at eight inches. Now this is assuming this is the top and this is the bottom. It's 12 by 12. Oh no, I'm wrong already. Okay, oh yeah, no. This is the east and west sides. North and south, top, bottom, east and west. Okay, eight inches. I was right the first time. Here we go. Cut off at eight inches. Ta da! Now, what I did was I scored this by turning it this way. And I scored the first one at four and a half inches because I wanted a, a pocket here, four and a half inch. Okay, four and a half. And then I scored it again at, let's see, one, two, at seven. And then I folded these so that they matched up nicely. I folded this one down. OK. 
Okay, so now you have this. Okay, this is looking at the front of it now. We have a pocket there. We're going to flip this over and we're going to find a place where we can score it right against this fold right here. Okay. So there we go. Whoops, that was wrong. Okay, we're going to fold that one up. I fold that. <laughs> I scored it wrong right there. It got a double score. Okay. Now, we are going to take this and cut it in half. So that would be at four inches. We're going to cut it at four inches. And this gives us our two pockets. See? Now, we're going to flip them over this way, back to our front side. And we're going to open this up. And this piece right here, we're going to put a thumb notch in it. This is our piece that got folded down and then over behind it. There you go. Now, if you want, you can cut a little thumb notch right here, just so it helps this pocket a little bit. But I'll be honest with you, this one won't take a double sheet of paper. Okay, so flip it over here, and now we're going to thumb notch this one. I'm, I'm eyeing, eyeballing where I want to put that. Okay, there's front one. Let's go back over to this one now. We're going to open this all up. And this one gets the notch facing. So these two face each other. Just in case they end up opposite each other on a page. And then we flip it over. And we thumb notch here. Eyeball it. There. Okay. So far, so good. So let's take some ink and go ahead and ink for edges. Oh, that one is just not inking so good anymore. My color box is almost pigmented out. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to cinnamon. Oh yeah, that one works. A little too good, doesn't it? That one works really well. And we're going to go this way. And along here. Here. Let's open this one up. Need to get it right in here. Don't really have to do that one, but it will help. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, we missed this one. The one that I intended to do most, I missed. Okay, <laughs> boy, that ink is really working good. Okay, so let's see. Now we do not want to glue this side here at all, not this piece. So let's flip it over to this side and let's run a bead of glue clear across this back side. No, not clear across. Just to there. And we're going to 
do this and this. Let me get rid of that. Now we're going to do this one. And we're going to do these two on the front. So here and here. Now, if you want that thumb notch in there, now is the time to get it in. So I'll use my bigger punch. And whatever you put in this pocket is going to show in here, which is fine. And there we go. So there's one. Now let's do the other one. Oh my, where did it go? Here it is, okay. Look how different that is with this one with the brown on it now. It looks a lot darker, doesn't it? Isn't that funny? This one looks more gray and this one looks darker. Okay, I'm going to put that little notch in there. Just because I think it looks better with the notch in it. There. I'm going to flip it over. We'll make sure we have our notch here. And we do. But I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Like that. Because I really like it that way. Open that one so we can get in there and here and we better get over here and we don't need to do that one that's on the inside got this outside let's just do a little more down here Right here. Now if you wish to round the corners or fancy them up, this is the time to do that. So let's see what we have here. That's the rounder. I'm going to use the scallop. I'm going to go ahead and scallop here. It didn't scallop very well, by the way. Let's try that again. There we go, that's a little bit better. Um, might need to cut a little bit of that off. We'll decide. There. And here. Now if you want to scallop these, you can. My, my scallop utensil here is full of paper, so it's uh, not cooperating with me too well. Go back and get in your ink. Okay, let's go and put our glue in. We're going to put glue on the back side here. So, and fold it up. Don't fold that right back down. Remember, it has to get folded around to the other side. Okay. So, this belongs back here. It's a pocket. There we go. And there we go. And that should almost have them done. Forgot this one. 
I always forget that one because it's kind of off by itself over there. Okay. So there are those. Now, let's see what we have here. I have some rub-ons. This might take a rub-on. Popsicle stick there. Oh, some lights. There's a Santa. Santa. Here's some flowers. Cool Yule. And splots. We have splots there. Let's see. Take some spots. Oh, let's do this. I like this. As long as I don't do all those, it'll be okay. Some cool looking stuff there. Okay, let's flip it back over here. And let's put in some Christmas trees here. Might as well splotch this down on the background, too. Ten thousand Christmas trees. Except for that tree there, let's go back and add that. There we go. And what was that? That one just peeled off our paper. So I'm just going to put that back down there. And then I'm going to go back over it with some ink to cover up where it Gave it a little owie. So there we go. We have some trees on there. And a tree over here. And some spots. So let's go over to this one. And I think we'll just put this tree here. And spots. Music. These are spots, is what I'm talking about, is these look like paint splotches.
It's just kind of, sorry if I'm off camera there. Very sorry. Okay. So let's fold these spots over to the other side. Make an opening here where there should be one. Whoops, re-glue that if we opened it. And I did. I always do that. I squish around with them too soon. And I always mess them up. Okay. Now we need a few things on this side. Um, here. have lots of extra little things in here so let's get these on here like so oh look at that I tore it again let's see if we can put that right there put that over it and then we'll cover with ink if we have to A little bit of music sheet, like that. Some more music there. Um, I like the spots. Let's put some more spots down here. Okay. Well, maybe a little bit here and there. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I gotta make sure I can open this now that I've kind of glued it down with splots. So there we go. Now we need ephemera. So we had that extra piece. Here it is. So we need a little card in here and a little card in this one let's see let's go to the front okay so we need a little card here so let's make a couple of these first and then we'll make a couple more of another one Oh, I bet my show came on. My hubby, I just saw him step in the door. I wanted to watch the Christmas quilt tonight. I forgot it was coming on. But I also forgot that I needed to make a video. Three and a half. Three and a fourth. Three and one fourth. Okay. So we have a little card that will go in here. That three and a fourth. And three and one fourth. Just almost too tight with that pocket. Now, if you sewed around these, you'd have more room in them. Okay, so then we need two that are, are this size. Right here. And that is, oh, let's see. That is two and an eighth. Two and an eighth. Right there. That one is crooked. 
I cut it crooked, crooked, crooked. It's still crooked. I don't know what to do about that. Nothing right now. There. There. Hopefully two and an eighth works. So you can see it will show if you put it towards the top, if you put it towards the bottom, it won't show. It needs to be a little stronger than that. Um, it doesn't quite need to be that long, but it is nice to be able to see it. There it is. I'm going to trim this down just slightly. There we go. And I'm going to scallop it so it'll slide in the pockets a little bit easier. This will give you a little journaling card back here. But you can turn it over either direction. Oh yeah, that's a lot better. So let me do the same here. There we go. <laughs> I cut that one off too much, but I got it all caught up over there with a piece of paper in the rail. Okay, now we used all of our extra paper that we had to go with our One Sheet Wonder. So now we have to dip into our ephemera or, you know, something like that. So I'm going to dip into my ephemera from Celeste over at Woodland Inspired. And I'm going to put a little sack in there and a little sack in that one. And then... I think that's it. Then, of course, you would need to decorate your ephemera with your journal cards and your tags with whatever designs you would like. But there you go. A little one-sheet wonder and an extra. Some extra paper. Okay, so where's my other ones? Where did I put them? I don't know. <laughs> oh dear me. That goes up there. Well, who knows? I don't know what I did with them. <laughs> Maybe I put them back here. I tried to clean off my desk so I could play. Let's see. Well, good heavens. I have no idea what I did with the extras. Don't know what to tell you. They have disappeared in the abyss. I thought I just put them right there. I'm really sorry. I, oh, here they are. Sorry about that. So, here they are. This way. Or, here's the other one. Okay, and you definitely have to, to attach these with, um, um, paper clip. But not that kind. That one is ugly. So don't use an ugly paper clip on your stuff. You know, part of uh, selling your journals and stuff is, you know, making it uh, beautiful. So, because that's what people like, is beauty. That's what is the interesting part. And you can see this one I rounded. This one I left. These are just rounded over here. So, there you go. That is all I have for today. I appreciate you coming and hanging out with me. 
and seeing what I'm up to. Let me flip this over so you can see the other side. There you go. Okay, thanks for joining me and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.